Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Kovald and today we are going to be talking about the mole. Uh, the mole is basically a number that we use a lot in chemistry. I'll explain why we call it the mole. The mole is, uh, we're not referring to the fuzzy little creature that digs holes in the ground. Um, <clears throat> but we are talking about a number. So it's referred to as the chemist dozen because just like in a dozen, uh, we talk about a, a dozen referring to a particular number of items. So for example, a dozen is uh, usually 12, or it's always 12, but it usually refers to like uh, a dozen eggs or a dozen donuts or whatever. So the the word dozen is associated with the number 12. That's all it means. So it's a way of counting a certain number of things. So we can count by individuals or we can count by dozens. Um, so the mole is the same, same thing. It's become a term that is referred, referring to a particular number. And in this, this, the number that it's referring to is uh, referred to as Avogadro's number. Now, Avogadro is referring to the Italian physicist Amadeo Avogadro, between, who lived between 1776 and 1856. So it's referred to as Avogadro's number, and that particular number is called the mole. Uh, and that number, Avogadro's number, is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And now, the one thing you want to keep in mind about Avogadro's number is that this number can refer to any number of things, right? So, in chemistry, uh, the particles that we are interested in are really small particles like electrons, atoms, molecules, formula units, so everything really on the atomic scale. But this number can be used for any, any objects at all, just like the word a dozen can be used for any objects at all. So I could talk about a dozen cars, a dozen people, a dozen um, whales, whatever. Um, the same thing uh, re referred, <clears throat> the same thing about the mold. The mole can be refer can be referred to any any type of items. I can talk about a mole of people, a mole of eggs, a mole of cars, right? So every time I am using the mole, I'm referring to this this number of that item. Um, in chemistry, we're referring mostly uh, to really small things like atoms and molecules. Okay, so that's the first thing to keep in mind. The second thing to keep in mind is that the mole it actually specifies something in particular. So the specific understanding of a mole is that the mole is the value that is equal to the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon 12. Right. So that's the specific definition or understanding of mole. So it's referring to a particular number of those atoms. And that was a number that was um, determined by Amadeo Algado. So a, exactly 12 grams of carbon-12 is, is the number of atoms uh, equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So here we have 12 grams of R carbon or carbon 12 that is going to be equal to one mole of carbon 12 atoms which is equal to this number okay so this is a really uh really good thing because this relationship allows us now to count things by mass so instead of counting individual atoms if we know the mass then we can figure out the number of atoms of, if I know the relationship between the mass of the substance and the number of particles and the mole, which is what we're going to get to in a little bit. So, 
um, if I can weigh out something by mass, and I know how many grams of that substance is equal to one mole, then I can use that to convert from moles or from mass to moles and moles to particles. And that is referred to as the molar mass, which is what I will go over in the next video. So I hope this was helpful. Um, oh, uh, before I forget, why, why do we call this the mole? That sounds like a strange name. Well, it goes back to Latin roots. So if, uh, if you know Latin, uh, you should uh, be interested in this, but if, if not, this is something you will learn. Uh, the Latin word for mass. So the Latin word for mass is moles. So um, that refers to mass. And then also the Latin word uh, molecula. So molecula and moles. Moles refers to mass and molecula refers to small mass. So originally when these terms were used, uh, moles was used to refer to the macroscopic world. If something was refer, um, happening in the macroscopic world, like boiling water, something you can observe, then that was referred to in terms of moles. Um, if it was the microscopic world, then uh, that was referring to the molecula. Um, and then over time, um, I won't bore you with the history, but then over time, uh, moles began to be used as an actual unit of measure referring to this, this number. So we started to refer to it as a unit of measure, measuring things in numbers of moles. But this is originally where it came from. It just comes from the Latin. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you like this video, share this video. Make a comment in the comment section. If you want me to go over anything, let me know. Um, uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time.